of free, prior and informed consent on matters concerning them in line with the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. Chairperson, the special theme for this session is important in creating the linkages between territories and human well-being because these two are mutually dependent. The COVID-19 pandemic has negatively impacted on a wide range of human rights of indigenous peoples, eroded years of progress and drastically increased global poverty and has abated existing inequalities within and amongst states and further marginalization of indigenous communities. The struggle for unhindered access to diagnostics, therapeutic and vaccines was an indictment on the global state of affairs. The issue of climate change does not exist within a vacuum because there is historical and current evidence of mass extra extractivism that affects indigenous people. In this regard, the residue of colonial exploitation is presently worsened by the role of transnational corporations, which is why South Africa believes in the regulation of these entities with respect to human rights. Lastly, Chairperson, the position of South Africa government is that there should be no communities of, or peoples who are de deliberately excluded from the benefits that their countries have to offer. Thank you very much.